saw you lose too much money, but I do remember, what'd you win, like $100,000? $135,000. And you were gone that day. I Sorry, I had to have one day off. <laughs> You're not supposed to be gone when I was there. No. <laughs> no kidding. But that was actually one of the biggest jackpots I think I ever um, saw one of my players win. So that and Al Brodus. Remember yes. Al? Oh, I remember Al. So Al used to come to the casino, and he would we would literally section off the uh, hundred dollar slot machines, like a yes. whole bank of them. Yes. And he'd bring a suitcase full of hundred dollar bills, and he would play. I think the max hit was like three hits per thing, but you'd have like five machines. So and he was just running them the entire time, and he would always win because he knew the statistics. He was like one of those Rain Men kind of genius people. Well, I had played one weekend, sort of around Al. And Al told me, come on, now, you, you know, you're playing the $5, and you're, you've dabbled the, the $25, play a $100 machine. And I was like, are you kidding me? Not, not me. I had figured out that it was better to play a $5 machine than to play a dollar machine. Yeah. But, or even a quarter machine. Right. But $100 was a lot of money. Just for one hit. Yeah. One hit. And so I said, well, okay. I kind of dabbled, and I didn't really do well that weekend. Yeah. I was staying in one of my free rooms and the whole bit, but I just, I really hadn't done well that weekend. And I said, well, I'm going to put in these last couple hundred dollars into a machine. And I hadn't put my player's card in. Ah. And I only hit for (laughs) one. I didn't do the max bet of two hundred dollars. I only did one hundred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as I was fiddling in my purse looking for my card, all the bells and whistles went off, and I was like, oh, "No way!" And they took me into a back room, and then they escorted me to my car at valet. Wow. They they tried to make sure that, and then of course you know I drove all. St- strategically to make sure that I wasn't being tailed or anything out of there. So they definitely increased your paranoia. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. Do they give you a check or is it all cash? They will do either, and mine was not safe. It was cash. So So it's buried in the backyard somewhere. Okay, got it. (laughs) That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. (laughs) Oh, man. Well, good times at Pachanga. Yes, Um, and when you left, basically I left. Yeah. You yeah. hear that, Pachanga? That's what you get for firing me. They okay. didn't get any more of my money. Aw. 